Hope so. It's fine. Good. Go. All right. I got a couple of you guys here. Um, it looks like it's right about time. Um, so we'll get started. So today we are going to be doing um, bar again. It'll be standing um, and it's going to be an arm emphasis. You can do this without free weights um, and it should give you um, a good amount of work and fatigue. If you wanted to make it a little bit harder, you could use light free weights. So if you don't have free weights, two water bottles, two soup cans, that works fine um, because you're really only going to need one to two pounds anyhow. So if you want to go ahead and grab something like that, please go ahead and do that. Um, again, optional, not requirement. Um, as usual, listen to your body. Um, if you know that adding weight uh, isn't good for you because, for example, you have like a shoulder thing going on, you know, of course, um, you know, you have to omit or modify as needed, as always. Um, same rules apply. Uh, before I forget, uh, I believe it's next week, uh, and watch for confirmation from uh, Jana about this, but next week our class time is going to be switching until 5 o'clock instead of 4.30, um, just by popular demand. Um, so we'll try it out. Hopefully that works for you guys. Um, and in, in addition to that, instead of just being plain old Pilates bar for the format, it's also going to be Pilates fusion. Um, so we'll get um, a little bit more variety in that way. So nothing will be dramatically different. Uh, you'll just see uh, a little bit of flair of other types of formats in your workouts too. So um, really the same kind of idea, just a little bit of different style in it. Um, so that is everything. We will go ahead and get warmed up here today. Um, as usual, um, be respectful of your body, injuries, ailments, restrictions, any of that kind of stuff. Um, omit or modify as you need to. You know your body better than anyone else. Uh, meanwhile, we will go ahead and get started. I will talk you through it all and offer you some modifications too. So we're going to start standing. I'm going to move my stuff out of the way and get back so you can see me okay. Um, and all you need at this point is just your body. You don't need anything else. So you're going to start with your feet in just a little V position here. And your arms are going to come down by your sides. We're going to start with shrugging the shoulders up. And then as you bring your shoulders down, you're going to bend your knees and then do that again. Seven and down and six and down. You're squeezing your butt and pulling your stomach in and down. Four more and three and two. Just getting those shoulder blades moving and one. Changing your arms. They're going to come right by your shoulders. You're going to push round, pull back, straighten and two, and pull, and three. Again, just getting your shoulder blades moving, and four. So you always want to move your arms from your back. And six, and seven, and eight. Good, put it together. We're going to go down, and up, push, and pull, down, up, push, pull, down, up, push, pull, down, up, push, pull, four more, down, up, push, and pull, three more, still squeezing your butt, up, push, and pull, two more, down, up, push, and pull, one more, down, up, push, and pull. Arms are going to go out to the side, just stretching out and reaching, lifting your heels, ten, and nine, and eight, my ankle's finally good enough to do this, seven, what a relief, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees a little bit, circles for five, four, three, two, one, straighten and lift, do it again, five, four, three, two, one, straighten and lift. And again, five, four, three, two, one, straighten and lift. And again, five, four, three, two, one, straighten and lift. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one, straighten and lift. And again, five, four, three, two, one, straighten and lift. Two more, five, four, three, two, 
One, straighten and lift. One more time, five, four, three, two, one, straighten and lift. Lower down, step out wide. We're just gonna go close and open. Two, and three, and four. Hands are at heart level. Five, so they're not way high up by your shoulders, they're a little lower. Seven, and eight. Taking the heart rate up a little bit, just side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Arms up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Arm circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold, hold. Arms come crisscross, open, cross, cross, pull, cross, cross, pull, cross, cross. Four more, sink a little lower. Three, two, sink a little lower. One, starting to come up, switch which arm goes on top. Two, you might not have even noticed you had a preference. Three, four, four more slowly coming up out of that squat. Three, two, and one. Arms open, lower down. Good from here. You're gonna come down into that squat, take one arm up and just a side bend over, gently rounding forward and roll it up, other side. Squat down, lift and over, round forward. Roll it up. One more each way like that. Squat and reach and round. Roll and straighten. And one more time. Squat and reach and round. Roll and straighten from here. Squat and hold. One arm up. Side bend over. Arm stretches out as you lower. And then come up. Other side. Squat and lift. Side bend, hold. One arm presses out. Straighten one more each way, squat and lift, side bend over, arm comes down, come up and straighten one more time, squat and lift, stretch it over, arm comes down, return to upright and hold from there. Good. Walk your feet in, take one leg forward, one leg back, just into a gentle lunge alignment from here. Adding a bicep curl into just a little tiny lunge. Bend and straighten, two, three. Good, you can start to let those arms swing. Four, and three, and two, and one. If you're ready, add your tap your foot. One, two. So I'm staying kind of in that lunge. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it back there, arms pump in. Sink down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it up slow, open chest, seven, stomach in, five, four, three, two, switching sides, bend and straighten, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, here's your crisscross and back pumps. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it up slow. Eight, seven, open chest, squeeze those arms in. Four, three, two, and rest from there. Good, nice. Okay, shake it out a little bit. If you have weights, you can go ahead and grab them now. All right, we are gonna be starting in a parallel position. Uh, let's take the feet just a hip joint distance apart. Okay, so from the side, I'll be here. 
we're going to start with a bicep curl also. So nothing too crazy fancy here. Just feel big toe, baby toe, and heel on the floor. Little squat and stretch. Two, three, four. It's a little quick. Five, six. Squeeze your butt. Seven. One more set like this. One and two and three, four, five, and six, seven. One more set of eight. One and two and three and four. Four more, four and three and two. Take it down, hold, hold. Hands come down, we're gonna go reach. Bring it in, so just one arm at a time here. Reach, bring it in. And again, alternating, and in, and again. And the more you keep that forearm parallel to the floor, the harder this is. So if you start to come up here, it's actually a little easier. So take it down, one more each side, slow. Sinking low, one more time. Good, little faster, no twist. Reach, reach, two, two, three, and four. Four more. And three, sinking low, two, and one. Lowest part of your squat, reach it out, bicep curl up, and straighten, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. One more set, like back, and one, and two. So I'm trying to keep the weight out of my foot, it could be, off the ground if you have that balance. And six and seven. Switching feet. Here we go. Hopefully biceps and shoulders are burning. And two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. Stretch it out. Arms come down nice and slow, nice and slow. Bring that foot back in. Stand it all the way up to the top. From there, straight arm raise front and lower. Just moving on right here. Feet are still hip joint distance apart. Good, and think of stretching the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Six, seven, and eight. Lift your heels with it. One, press down. Two, imagine pulling springs in front of you down to the floor. Pull down. Five, pull down. Six, pull down seven and eight balance up there and hold just the arms one it's hard two three and four four more and three stomach two oh, wobbly and one hold it lower those heels we're going to turn palms down and up. two three Four, sink into that squat. Five, and six, and seven, and one more set like this. Eight, and seven, six, five, four, should be burning. Three, two, and one. Lower down nice and slow. Stand it up, up, up. Good palms face outward now. Bicep curls to the side. Lift and lower. Two, three, four. Stomach in. Five, squeeze your butt. Six, seven. Stand on one foot. Here we go. One, one leg is lifted. Two, so from the side, I'm here. And four, stomach in. Five, this is my good side. My next side might not be so good. And seven. And eight, switching legs. One, ooh, I need this work though. Two, three, and four. Press that leg straighter into the floor. Six, seven, keep the curls going. March, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more set, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lower down. Take your feet nice and wide into a plie squat. Come down and hold, right? 
little squat we're gonna go shift and center we'll get the legs first then we'll add the arms stretch the leg stretch the leg think of pressing that thigh down to the floor and get a little more emphasis into the glutes then palms come up when you're ready and reach and three see i'm cheating here keep them low four and five and six and seven stretch the direction that you're leaning one two three and four stay in that squat five six seven and another set both arms one two three four keep stretching five six seven last set hold it out two stomach in three get lower if you can four last four last three last two and last one come back to center straighten it up lower those arms really 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 slow good legs get just a little bit of a break moving on into our triceps at this point so arms are going to go overhead okay and i'm going to make like a little triangle with my thumbs together and my index finger together the rest of my hands just wrap around the weights if you have them okay so hands are going to come behind the head just hold your squat for now and no flared ribs right pull those ribs in squeeze your backside stretch your arms up and and two so it's a pilates tricep extension a little bit different than your typical tricep extension five so my elbows are open six so i can feel my shoulder blades seven and eight add your squat we're going to go down push up one two three ribs in four nice long back five and six and seven one more set like this one and two pinch those shoulder blades back three and four do four more and three and two and one hold it hold it walk the feet in a little bit okay if you have an arch in your back i want you to fix that elbows in here's your tricep overhead extension one two three four five six should be heading up seven eight again like this you're almost there one two three four more you got it four and three not to worry we'll stay in the triceps two and one arms lower super slow bring them back good palms are going to face the back here straighten up as much as you can you're still in that parallel hip distance apart squat here right arms are going to come back reach and two and three and four from here keep going five see if you can tap one foot in six so i'm balancing on one foot seven and eight more like this on the side eight at a knee lift when you press back three should be getting a little hot four and five and six and seven good news better news eight back and hold bend and straighten your elbows so from the side you're gonna go push and two and three keep using your stomach to pull that knee in and four get those elbows way behind you three and two even better news you have the other side straight arms two stomach in two sets of eight like that so you have 12 more one and two stretch it back three stomach in four and five and six and seven bring it back hold it hold it bend and straighten the elbows one and push two can you get a little lower three can you get those elbows back farther four tuck your chin relax your neck Whew, breathe through it seven and eight let's do one more one foot down and three and stretch four and stretch five six seven Take it back, hold it back. Take your feet wide into a plie squat. Come on down, you can watch in my mirror. My back came up a little bit there, right? Stretch those hands down to the floor. 
pump in one. Oh, you should be dying in two, three, four fast tight pulses, five and six and seven and eight pulses back. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and rest. Whew, okay, walk it in a little bit, shake it out just a hair. We're gonna go into a lunge position. Still working muscles in the back of the body. I'll turn to the side so that you can see. So I'm gonna take one foot forward and one foot back here. Okay, so my back is in a more against gravity position. We're gonna work on our external rotators next, okay? So elbows are gonna come up and they're about in line with my trunk. They're not behind me, they're not forward, they're right in the middle there. And the more I lean forward, the more I'm gonna put these muscles against gravity. You're gonna do like a scarecrow. So bring your arms up like a goalpost and lower. And two, and three. And the more weight you put in that front foot, the harder it's gonna be for your legs and your stomach. Six, seven, and eight. One more set like this. One, and two. Even harder is here. Three, four, five. Stomach in. Six, seven, and eight. Keep it there, switch feet. And one, two more sets of eight, then we get a break. Two, three, stretch that leg back. Four, and five, and six, bring it up. Seven, Ooh, I'm shaking. One more set, one, see if you can flatten it out. Two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and bring it down, and bring it back up. Whew. Okay, shake it out a little bit, guys. We're gonna finish up on the floor, just a hair. So you're gonna be on like hands and knees. If you need something cushy underneath your knees, please go ahead, grab a mat or um, something that's not gonna slip um, to give you a little bit of that extra cushion. I'm just gonna adjust the camera here, a hair, and we'll work from here. Okay, so do keep your free weights nearby. We're gonna stay in that similar positioning where your, uh, your front body is facing the floor a little bit. So it's a similar angle, but now we're just on the knees instead of standing. You could do this standing and repeat the same position if you needed to. And I'm just gonna start with one free weight here, okay? So try not to cross your knees, don't cheat, okay? Keep them there, because they you told them to be there. Little row and tap down. So you're gonna go one, tap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and set that weight down, push-ups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more set, you got it, one, lower those hips, two, three, and four, four more, you guys, four, almost there, three, get your chest down, not your nose, two, last one, switch hands with that weight, all right, here's your row, one, two sets of eight, two, three, pull your waist to the ceiling, five, six, seven, one more set, here it is, one, and two, get those stabilizers going, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, lower down, come on down with your elbows, up into your most challenging plank, we're just gonna hold, and breathe, let's give it a minute, when you're done, you're done. You can always sit back onto your heels, rest and breathe, shake it out. That's 10 seconds down, guys. Ooh, walk those toes under if you need to, squeeze your butt. Whew, hips down, bra line and waist to the ceiling. So I'd rather have you looking more like a rainbow than a sad face. 30 seconds, guys. Whew, keep breathing. After this, we finish up cooling down. <sighs> 
10 seconds. Keep breathing. And five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Cool, you can sit back onto your heels or any other comfortable resting position. Slowly come on up and shake that out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna cool down a little bit lighter resistance here. I'm gonna ask you to go into side sitting. Uh, we've done this in the past. It's like your side sitting uh, tricep push up. So you could have your legs stacked here. If for whatever reason that doesn't work, one leg ahead of the other is also fine. Or crisscross applesauce, legs out straight, whatever works for your body, okay? So at this point, I'm gonna take one arm wrapped around my body, which means this arm gets to come down to the floor, okay? We're gonna do just eight on each side, nice and slow. One, bend and straighten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, from there, replace this hand to the floor, take this arm up, slide it up for a little stretch, and then come back up to the top. Good, you can hold your ankle if that's comfortable. Take one arm up and do a little lift out of your waist. So you're not crunching down, you're just trying to stretch up. Two more like that, and we'll repeat, repeat on the other side. Stretch it over, and then come up. Really trying to use your waist and not your hand. And stretch it over. You have one more time like that. Stretch it out, reaching, reaching, and bring it up. Good, keeping that head in alignment with the rest of the body. Definitely a good habit. Okay, go ahead and switch it over to the other side now, any comfortable way. Whether it's a swivel, or if you need to take your time, that works out great too. We're gonna take one arm around the body, and the opposite arm to the floor, and you have eight nice, slow tricep push-ups. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, two more, seven, and eight. Good, replace that outside hand and come up. Hold on to your ankle if you need to. Take one arm up, stretch it up and away. And come up to the top. Good, switch, ooh, the side is harder. And you're gonna slide it out and reach. Good, bring it up, nice and slow. Stretch up and over, and reach, reach, reach. Come back to the top, replace and slide it out. And just one more time like that, bring it out and up, and stretch it over. Come back up to the top, and lower all the way down from there. Good, very nice. From here, any comfortable way, find a comfortable seated position, and then, we're simply gonna take one arm up to the front, turn, and open that arm. So from the side, it looks like this. Really just opening and stretching. My thumb is up, my hand is below my shoulder, and now I'm gonna turn my head away from my hand. And then come back to center, arm is gonna lower down. Same thing, other side. So the arm goes up the front, you turn with it, to open and stretch back, thumb up, hand below the shoulder, and then when you're ready, you look away and hold. Relax the shoulder blades. Come back down and center. One more time on each side, up and open, and turn the head away. This should feel really nice. And lower down one more time, other side, up and open, turn. Turn the head away. And lower down from there, good. Okay, same comfortable seated position. One arm comes up, you're gonna stretch over to the side. This will be kind of similar from our warm up. Keep your head in alignment with your body and this should feel like a nice stretch through your side. But when you start to stretch this arm out and down, you'll find it a little bit more into the side of the neck and just hold that stretch. Relax and breathe here for a moment and then come up, 
We'll do the other side, arm comes up, side bend over, reaching, reaching, arm stretches out, nice stretch in the side of the neck. Let's just do that one more time on each side. So you're gonna come back up again, bring it up, stretch it over. Good, this time we'll add on a little bit, little tricep stretch here, optional, not required. And then you'll stretch it back out, press the arm down slow to find that stretch in the neck. As always, it should not be painful. There shouldn't be pinching, tingling, any of that kind of stuff, none of it. And then come back up, same thing, other side. One last time, arm comes up, stretch it over. Good, bend the elbow if you're ready. Stretch it back out, arm comes down, leave that head in the same alignment, and then come back up to the top from there, and then just take a deep breath, inhale, lift up, and exhale, lower down. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much. Uh, as always, thanks for making the time uh, to work out with me. As always, questions, comments, one-on-one -on -one help, any of that kind of stuff, please let me know. I'm happy to help anytime. Um, watch for the updates from Jana for the new schedule moving on, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you.